Now, he talks a great game. He's in great shape. He's about 57. Would you box Michael Jai White? Yes, I would. As long as you don't kick me. Hey guys, in this video, former two-time heavyweight champ of the world, Terrible Tim Witherspoon, is ready and willing to step back in the ring, so we're going to talk about a couple potential exciting opponents. Anyway, check out his YouTube channel and his Instagram account, I'll link it in the description below, and please help support my channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, and sharing the video. And with that said, let's get on to this exciting discussion and possible future fight. You know, Tyson's fighting now, Evander's fighting. This could still happen. Does Tim want to get back in the ring? You know, I'm older than them guys for about five, six years. Okay. And you look good, I, though. I do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, everybody's, a lot of people saying it. A lot of people say, um, um, you know, I got to shave, shave a little bit of gray and stuff like that. Sure. Um, uh, you trying to get me the box. <laughs> I will. Oh. I will give it a try because I know how to block punches. I know how to not, not, not to get hit solid on my head. And these particular fights, after my career, I'll definitely make sure that I won't get hit. I will keep my hands up high, and, and then I'll get in, I'll bang, and I'll remember to go right to defense because I'm, 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 I'm older than these younger guys. Yeah, you got the experience for sure. Now, here's a question, Tim. So you had your last okay. fight. Back in, I think, 2002 or 2003, right? It was 2002. Okay, 2002. Has there been a time between 2002 and now, like maybe 2010 or 2015 or 2008, where you were thinking, maybe I do want to put the gloves back on, or have you not really thought about it since you retired in 2002? No, I did. You, you I did. did think about because it? Because i seen it. Yeah, I've seen the talent out there. Um, you know what, though? Um, I, I was like that, like maybe I can get back, but I knew that I knew that um these young guys, they were coming up. Uh like you had you like you had Ray Mercer, you had Tyson, you had Holyfield, you had the young guys, you had I seen Rockman, you had a whole bunch of young guys coming up. Um after a while, I didn't think like I want I had something to prove or financially by fighting or 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 my you know, I had nothing to prove. Um, so I decided to just emphasize on teaching people, okay. but if, if a big fight come up or something like that, or, or an exhibition, I wouldn't mind being in it. But after O2, O2, I did think about it, but then it died away. And I think that, and I thought that I can, I can teach, I could benefit more by teaching and being something else in, else in a boxing game, because there's a lot of missing, my, a lot of missing pieces in this in this boxing game today there's a lot of missing pieces in terms of teaching in terms of like there's a gap they're in the middle something there's something in the middle that's saying box is not doing really good right now there's something right there that's saying that we got to all stick together and try to make it better all the old time boxers why didn't the, the the television people and all the management people how come they didn't get the retired boxers and put them somewhere where we can still have something to do afterwards. I think that would have helped the box in the day. You got Tony Tubbs sitting home. You got um, a lot of other retired boxers sitting home. We got to use them guys. We oh, use I, I them totally stuff. agree. I totally agree, which oh, is okay. great. And one of the reasons why you basically created your YouTube channel, right? To kind of give that old school knowledge back uh, to the young people. Yeah, uh, the te the technician is over there sitting down, Brian. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, yeah. Well, in the beginning, my son and my daughters and stuff, we was talking about it, and um, I just met somebody that was really good at it, Brian, and that could get us to where we want to be. Um, and then later on, you know, the family can come in after we get do the work we have to do. They can come in and and um, try to help too. So the YouTube channel. Um, it's, it, it's really cool. We can, you know, you can spread the word, you, can, you know, build it and, and everything. And, and, um, I think we're doing all right. We're on a good pace. Yeah. Yeah. You guys only been doing videos for like a month or so, and you're already getting like thousands of subs. I've been watching your videos. I find them entertaining. They're, uh, educational. They're useful. So l let me ask you this, Tim, like hypothetically, because people do have interest in the old timers getting back in the ring, like Tyson and Holofield yeah. and, 
all these other guys. Um, I would do it. I would do it. You, yeah, which would be cool. But what is the main motivation? Is it purely like money? Is it like see if what you still have at this age? Is it like a different motivation? Because I know fighters always are going to be fighters. Like, what's the main motivation, or what are the motivations behind you thinking? At I believe you're 63 now, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's the main motivation? Like Tim wants, I want to get back in the ring. Is it, is it just for the money? Is it because I don't think you have anything to prove at this point. You don't need to, but like, what, what is it? What's the drive behind the, uh, the desire to possibly do that? I do believe in some of the other guys is money. And it's kind of like, it's, it can't be with money. I'm, I'm older than guys, but with them, I'm almost sure money has a lot to do with it. Sure. Um, you know, Spending, I'm surprised that I was with Tyson in England and he had 230 million twice. It's crazy. And I couldn't believe that he had 200 and something million twice. He got it back um, at least. <laughs> well, right now he's getting paid big time, big, get big, big time. So I do believe Roy Jones needed some money. I do believe that Vander Holyfield needed some money. He got 20 kids. <laughs> yeah that's crazy he got you didn't know that he got like 18 kids 21 that's nuts, man for one guy. mouth to feed <laughs> yeah yeah so and and there's other guys um there's other boxers there's not too many of them that that came back but i'm almost sure that that their money was getting low because that's what i would do it for mm. that's what i would do it for the money you know if i had if i had five ten million i wouldn't come back i okay. wouldn't come back yeah, I'd be a teacher. I'll help management out, stuff like that. I wouldn't I wouldn't come back. So believe me, they're coming back because they're money low or they or they broke. Okay. Okay. But yeah. aside from Tyson though, Tyson was gonna donate all of that to charity, like that fight he had, you know, against Roy Jones. And he's got like his farm and all the other business. <laughs> yeah. So he's he's doing fine. I think Tyson really just had that uh, the hunger that uh probably goes away i would think for most people when they age you know but he just was annihilated that's all i was born for and now those days are gone it's empty i'm nothing and he looked amazing almost like he did in the 80s and 90s with that said let me just throw some fun names out there hypothetically if you were to get back in the ring would you fight mike tyson yeah you you would fight mike tyson uh I, like now <laughs> like in three months oh yeah yeah not today but yeah like like next year oh yeah example. oh yeah i'm confident i'm confident because um i know i know that i got the skills i know he quick all i have to do is get strong all i have to do is get strong i, I you know and 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 i know exactly what to do you know with the defense and and i know if he throw them quick punches i know how to crab up i know how to tighten up you know, where a lot of guys they don't they don't do that. I I was thinking mostly not getting hit when I was boxing. Sure, that's smart. <laughs> but he is he's a he's in good shape. I seen him. Um, I would have to be in really good shape to do an exhibition. Okay, but like in a real fight, <laughs> I wish it was ten years younger. You know, I wish it was ten years younger. But and I really don't have no desire to fight like. But yeah, I know that, that's a, that's a dangerous fight, man. He'd be a, he'd be um, a danger, even like the current champ, Tyson Fury. That wouldn't even be a safe fight for Tyson Fury. I spent, I spent a lot of time with him in England, me and my daughter Oh yeah, up in, up in Manchester. Yeah. I think that Tyson, if he came back, if he don't get hit and if, and if he moved the way he moved, I think he can do well because I don't think Tyson Fury or Dante Wilder could take the best punch. That's, that's another thing in my mind. If I get in good shape and just move around, slip, keep my hands, I'm just catch them. Mm -hmm. Like, like um, I was doing Frank Bruno. Now, now real quick, when, I, when, I, when they told us about Frank Bruno and they said he couldn't take a punch, I trained, right, just to not, I trained good. But when I got in the ring and the bell rung, I said, whoa, in my mind, he can't take a punch. I'm going to try to hit him. So I was hitting him on his chin all night. And I said, man, who said he couldn't take a punch? I was gonna say, how could he take that, man? <laughs> you know. And he went, he went down, he went down, he went down, and everything. But I underestimated him. He could take a better punch than what people were saying, you know. 
Mm. Let me throw some other names out, Tim, because, uh, you know, getting these uh, old timers back, a, a lot of the excitement is not even necessarily if you fought, you know, someone known for their boxing like Mike Tyson. Like, for example, I know Don the Dragon Wilson, 11 time world kickboxing champ, wants to get back in the ring. Uh, you know, I'm, well, I'm not too old because I may have one more fight, guys. He's even thrown some names out like Roy Jones Jr. And he's talked about even in the 90s, they were going to fight. He was going to do kickboxing, waist up kicks only, and, and punching, obviously against Roy Jones Jr. just boxing. Now, with that said, would you fight Don the Dragon Wilson, who's older than you now, he's 67, if he can throw his kicks, waist up only, you know, kickboxing you as the boxer, would you take that fight? Don't you know the leg is stronger than the arm? If he kicked it, it is, it is. <laughs> no, he can't, uh, no, he can't. Oh, you uh, wouldn't take a fight? Because obviously you're, box, you're the boxer. It wouldn't be, I don't think it'd be, no offense to Don, I don't think it'd be fair for Don if he just went straight boxing to your boxing. But if he yeah. could do his kickboxing against your boxing, then you kind of have a more fair, even fight. He's not breaking my ribs. <laughs> well, yeah, if you keep your arm down, he won't. But <laughs> I'm just, you know, your, long, your, arm, your legs are stronger. It's a known fact that sure. your legs, the leg muscles are stronger than your arms. And that kick will be 20 times as hard as the arms. So well, maybe not your arms. I'm sure your, your arms are like somebody's kick. <laughs> well, if he don't kick me here, if, if he could just kick me up, try to kick me here, I'll do that. Maybe. But, but you wouldn't really want the Don Wilson fight if he could be the kickboxer Don Wilson. That wouldn't interest you? Uh, I can't know. What about the money, though, Tim? I'm Would not. I don't, he, he said well, when they offer me good money, what good is that if I can't copy, if I can't communicate with my kids after it's over? Yeah, you got to watch out for Don's kicks, man. He's deadly. Here's a fun yeah. fight, though. Here's a fun fight, Tim. <laughs> Michael Jai White, he talks a great game. He says he thinks he can even beat Mike Tyson in boxing, so not even using his karate. He just thinks he could beat Mike Tyson in boxing, and they're about the same age. Do you think he would win? Yeah, of course I think I would win. Okay, you can't kick him. No, I know. <laughs> let me just, let me just put right, that right. out there. It's not a UFC fight. Right. This is strictly boxing. Yeah, yeah. Now, he talks a great game. He's in great shape. He's about 57. Would you box Michael Jai White? Yes, I would. As long as you don't kick me. Yeah, yeah. He's He'll stick to boxing, and he sparred a lot of heavyweights. Have you actually ever trained with him? Because I know he goes around different gyms and spars like professional boxers and stuff. No, I never I never um, trained, but I did see him on television. Um, he never had no... Uh, sparring is just like you could, you could fight like so he got experience by sparring everybody so uh, he would be he would be competitive he would be competitive but I would fight him that would be the fight to make in my opinion now what do you think about let that dude hit me now he, he, on him. hey he, Tim he, he said because people will give him crap they'll say well you never fought and he said but I spar all the time and and then people will say well that's different but then he will literally say sparring is fighting There's, you've been you've been sparring champion yeah see you he, haven't actually gotten into a professional fight he, with he, these guys he, he, right he, is he, that is that true though here's what you don't understand you understand sparring is fighting what do you think about that statement sparring is fighting i, I do think is a difference is a difference in just sparring and fighting you are you know some so, so, so some guys like me, when I get in the ring with guys that that's competitive, but when I work out with them, but they, but they really can't do nothing to me. I do this move around and practice on stuff that I need to do when I fight. Um, but um, it's the same type of feeling. You just got, you just got gloves on. You're not, you don't fear as much because you got the headgear and stuff on, um, and you take more chances. Um, but as soon as you take the head gear up, I'm almost sure it's kind of like the same thing. It's the same thing, but when you got to know how to react when you get hit. Sure. That's the big difference. It's different when you got the head gear on, even though you still can hurt somebody with the head gear on. So it's not that much of a, of a difference. You just got a little bit of protection, and some people still get hit. Just imagine with it all. It's the same thing, but, but mentally, you know the head gear is protected. And when, and, but when you take it off, you do get a different feeling. 
you get a different feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting, man, because now a fight, you're not holding back, but sparring, there's like different levels, right? Where, where you could do light sparring, medium sparring, hard sparring, where it's almost like a fight, but you got the headgear. So it's really hard to say what type of sparring and experience Michael Jai White has, because you got to figure he's a movie star. He, he can't have like a busted crooked nose and cauliflower ear. So when he says sparring is the same as fighting, the question is how hard does he spar? You know, so I would assume a lot lighter because he is a movie star and he doesn't, he shouldn't be taking a beating if he's training with these guys. So I don't think he has as much experience as he thinks personally based on that. Cause it would only make sense. He would be involved in lighter sparring sessions. It sounds like when you sparred, you're basically fighting, but you just have headgear on. We had the cup on and the gloves. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, when we sparred, um, but this is the thing. It's all kind of sparring, like you said. And the head guy, like me or Michael J., oh, like Tyson, when you put somebody in the ring with us, we got to know how to adjust with them. If they tough, we got, you know, we got to let them know. We got to get, that's a good workout. But if this average guy, we just mess around with them. Um, 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 but there would, to me, to me, um, it wasn't that much of, of a difference with the headgear versus with it on or off. Um, I got hit with a headgear on and it's still, <laughs> still you get stunned. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's a mental thing. Once you take it off, do you think there's no protection and stuff like that? And I think that plays a different thing for you with your brain. Yeah. But I knew people that box. Spar Tyson did it. He sparred with heavyweights without the headgear on. My brother Anthony used to spar with him too. My older brother Anthony yeah. was one of his spar partners. Oh wow. He was like 14 and over 14 knockouts. And then that we got sold to Don King by by our promoter because they got in trouble. They got in trouble with, with uh dealing drugs. Mm. Is there like a is there like a potential contender you would prefer? Like I threw three guys out there, obviously. Yeah, Mike give Tyson, me the fight. White, Don Wilson. <laughs> I don't care who it is. You don't care who it is. No. Listen, I I'm just I'm just saying, I know that I won't that if I get hit, it could hurt me. I would train real hard. I would chop a lot of wood. I would get my lungs together. Cause I know I had a good defense. Any one of those, any one of those guys I, I'll fight. I'll okay. fight. And plus, you said they're like 50 something. That ain't that far from me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll just yeah, get in good shape. Like 57, you're 63. It's not that big of a gap. Listen, I'll get in good shape. And when the bell ring, I know that I know that I won't be able to get hit with a lot of punches. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that I block their punches. And they'll get discouraged if they haven't really had, like Michael White, he won't be able to. He won't be able to, to hit me where, where he wants. The only time he'll hit me, if I get lazy or if I get careless, that's the only time. But I'll keep my hands up like this. Sure. And then I got another defense, you know, and I know it'll frustrate him. So any three of those guys, but well, you got to send me the film, though. But not, <laughs> but not Don Wilson. Not Don Wilson if Don Wilson can kickbox. You don't want nothing to do with Don Wilson. Oh, no, I don't want to get kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fight to make, in my opinion, is against Michael Jai White because people want to see him based on the stuff he said. And he is an amazing athlete, right? But let's put him up against a real boxing champion, right? Because I know he said he would do the Mike Tyson fight. Now, I don't see why he wouldn't want to fight Terrible Tim. How come, how, come they didn't, how come it didn't go off? Then they never tried it? Well, see, that's the thing. I don't know if Mike Tyson, I don't know how Mike Tyson, how interested Mike Tyson is in fighting him, you know, um, because he said he was Fighting wants to do or doing an exhibition. Fighting him or doing an exhibition. <laughs> Who, I'm sure if Mike Tyson got hit hard enough, it might, if it was an exhibition, it might turn into a real fight, right? Okay. I yeah. mean, who knows, man? Who knows? Or that before, exhibition or could before. end up in a knockout. <laughs> yeah, or before. If they don't like each other or something, it will turn into a brawl in the beginning. And, and the interesting thing is Michael Jai White played Mike Tyson in a movie back in the 90s. No. You know, he yes. has the speed, everything, the look. Uh, obviously, he's been training tall is he? forever. How tall is he? I, I hear different things. He's Realistically, he's probably six foot one. Okay. Okay. I don't think he's that tall. 
Yeah, and I heard people say he may not be. I mean, you you hear anything between like five eleven and six two? If I had to put money on it, I'd say he's probably six foot one. Okay, that that's the same size. As my I'm fighting. Put put it out there. I'm fighting. <laughs> yeah, put it out there, man. <laughs> That that is that would be interesting. That would be because Mike Tyson didn't answer the call for whatever reason. But let's get him in the ring anyway against another champ. Mike, Mike he didn't did, answer the call for Michael Jai White, and, and I don't think he wants that fight. Maybe he thinks Logan Paul is the money fighter. Maybe he doesn't think Michael Jai White would bring enough interest. I think it would. But regardless, I want to see you and Michael Jai White. Yeah, I don't know if they think that I would. They probably would. They probably would think that I would be attractive to to that fight. That's an attractive I think it fight. Will. That is it. They can yeah. market the hell out of it, you know. Hey, here's a question, Tim. Like, let's say, uh, you know, one of these fights did transpire. Like, how long for you to get in your fighting shape would it take? Well, I've been training anyway. But like, like yeah, like I said earlier, are- you look good. So yeah. it's not like. You know, you just been sitting down all day, not not training. Like you're in shape. I don't have no girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna weaken your mean, legs. I'm mean all the time. I'm okay. mean all the time. No, I'm like grouchy all the time. I got my little daughter. She lives with me, right? Okay. My little daughter. She's from England. She's from she's from England. And um, I went and got her. She lives with me. And um, I be angry all the time. And and you know, I got to take care of her. So. I'm in the right mode right now. You're in that fight mode. You're hungry. I'm at, yeah. So I'm, I don't, I'm, we don't really have no people coming over. I don't go out and party. I haven't in 10 years. I might've went out eight times, 10 times. Wow. Okay. Serious. Sure. I didn't, I haven't went to a club in 15 years. I haven't went to a bar in 15 years. I've been taking care of my daughter and, and taking care of my kids. So I'm healthy. I take my bite. I, well, I was taking animal packs and stuff like that. I know Brian got some stuff too, but I, I, I'm a, I take vitamins. Um, I stay at home. I drink wine every once in a while. So I'm in the right position. If they mm-hmm. ask me to fight, all I got to do is start running. I don't have to stay away from the girls because there's none around. <laughs> and I don't mind. I just be angry all the time. And I, and I be like fighting my daughter all the time. And I know what it is. See, I know what it is. And I'm, what I do, I go take a cold shower. <laughs> okay. Serious. Yeah. So those guys got girlfriends. I got friends, but they don't come around because I. at one point, what's more important to me is my daughter mm-hmm. and me. All the stuff that happened with, with back when I was fighting with Don King and everybody, there was a lot of people threatening us. We had to go places and all this. It's all over. Be comfortable now. I'm with my. I got five daughters and one son, and and I've been concentrating on being with them because I was going fighting and everything back in the day. Everybody trying to get my money. Everybody trying to party and get high. And now for the last ten years, I've been around my family. I, and 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 don't nobody come to my house. It's just me and her. My kids do. My kids come, but don't nobody come on, Tim. Let's go to the bar. So I'm ready. All I have to do is start running and get my lungs in shape and 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 and, and um, get everything else in shape. I'm ready to fight in a month and a half, two months. Oh, wow, that quick. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I feel strong right now. I don't feel like I got to wait to something build up. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, uh, I'm ready now. How, how much are you training? How long are you training a day right now, Tim? Because you're probably hitting the heavy bag all the time, right? Yeah, well, I was, I was up to like six rounds with the heavy bag. Um, then we hit the speed bag. Um, I, I run on the treadmill uh, 30 minutes. Uh, uh, I'm a mo- I've been saying I'm going to move it up to 30 minutes, like five days in a row. I've only been doing it like two, three days. Then some days I run 20. Um, you know, so my goal is to get it up to 30 minutes, 30 minutes a, a day for like five days and hit the heavy bags. Um, I didn't spar with nobody. For that fight, I wouldn't spar with nobody. Oh, you wouldn't. It'd be like no. Rocky IV. It'd be like Sloan and Rocky IV. No sparring partners. But you know I'm the real Rocky, right? Yes, because you are basically the only <laughs> heavyweight champ born and raised in Philadelphia. So you're the real Rocky. But no, but wait a minute. I was only born two minutes away, five minutes away from the Italian market. Oh, yeah? I was born, you see the market? We used to go there every weekend. Just like Sylvester Stallone did in a movie, my 
My mom used to go to the Italian market every weekend and buy food and stuff and take it back. It's an Italian neighborhood. It's in, in the first gym I went to, uh, the old Pass Junk gym was on Pass Junk and more, and it runs right across the Italian market. And we, I started training there. But here it is. I was born right in South Philly, 5th and McCain, no, 6th and I was born in 7th and Emily, moved to 6th and Winton, moved to 5th and McCain, and then moved out the neighborhood then. But I'm, I was born right near the Italians, the Irish, right in South Philly, near the football stadium. Yeah, that's I'm cool. the real two-time heavyweight champ. <laughs> yeah, now they got to put a statue uh, of you next to uh, Stallone's Rocky, right? By that museum. Well, they got to put you, you guys together. Well, that's if you, you know, if you, uh, you know, go around the lobby and try to get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I just got to, if they say you fighting Tim, I get serious, more serious. That's all. That's cool, man. Yep. My legs are strong. Um, but I gotta get I gotta find me a girlfriend. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm gonna put the word out there too. You know, huh? Tim looking for a fight, Tim looking for a girlfriend. We'll put put the word out on both. <laughs> they'll come, they'll come. Sure, sure. Yeah, they'll come. 